We are previewing NFL Week 6 here at SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We're talking right now with Jeff Grant, sports betting writer from the Bleacher Report. Jeff, the second game I assigned to you was the Packers at Texans. The Texans are about a three or three and a half point home favor. The total is 48. And um, I'm leaning to, I'm, you know, I've been a huge fan. I was very high on the Texans when the year started. I would lean towards them here as well. Uh, you know, the Packers look like they're kind of having a lot of issues. They kind of seem like they're mentally not right. They're dealing with a lot of injuries as well. Um, I guess the only thing that makes me a little bit nervous is that, uh, you know, the Texans are coming off of a Monday night game and the Packers are coming off of a, uh, a loss where that they might be looking to avenge. So those two factors don't make me uh, feel super comfortable. But in general, I got to think the Texans minus three and I would, I would take three line shopping uh, is the play here. Is that how you see it? I love the Texans personally from a, uh, a team standpoint right. uh, for the rest of the year. Uh, I was very high on them uh, at the beginning of the year. I've been high on them uh, for the last couple of years. They just haven't been able to get past uh, Peyton Manning and the Indianapolis right. Colts. And obviously last year they, they accomplished that task now that Manning was hurt last year and then has now moved on to the Denver Broncos. I just find this to be a very bad spot for the Houston Texans. Now some of the Ooh. value has been lost. They got opened up as a four and a half point home favorite. And now the line's basically sitting at three. I, I like that line move. For the fact that the Packers, this really is a game that the media is asking questions. Are the Packers an elite team? And the one player that has not performed, but now he's starting to fess up to his performance so far, is last year's MVP, Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. And what he has done on the road during his career, and what he's done in dome stadiums on the road in his career, and they've never had their back up against the wall like this, a team coming off a of Monday night, playing a Sunday night, and you got to go a little further than that, Peter. They have the Baltimore Ravens on deck, and I know this is a big game, but I'm going to tell you the biggest game on Houston's schedule is Baltimore because they knocked them out of their playoffs, and that was the first time in franchise history that they went to the postseason last year. Wow. I mean, do you really think that like a look ahead situation in the NFL? I mean, I understand if it's an egregious, you know, uh, unusual circumstance, but you really think that that a situation like that in the NFL that there are? I mean, they obviously, you know, uh, pl that plays a huge factor in college football, but it, you, you think it matters in the NFL as well? I absolutely do. And I'll, I'll just look at it from a second half standpoint last week and, and looking ahead. The Packers were blowing out the Colts in mm -hmm. the first half. The Colts were playing. Uh, a very emotional game with their head coach uh, being diagnosed with leukemia. So they obviously wanted to win that game, and they were getting blown out in the first half. Green Bay goes in the locker room, and what do they start thinking about? The next week. You think? And, and they ran into a lot of problems. And when you have a game circled on a schedule, I know this is a primetime game. But right. when an NFL team or anybody, any job that you have, right. when you circle something, and You're the only that. game that this team had circled on the year now that they are going to win the division is this game. And also, uh, their emotional leader, it doesn't have too much of an impact in this game because the Packers are going to be without Cedric Benson, who actually established a running game for them. But the Packers are known as a passing team. Uh, Brian Cushing, the, the captain of the defense and last year's MVP for the Texans is lost for the year. So when you come up and you're going to lay points against what everybody seemed to be the best team in the NFL last year until the playoffs, uh, you're up against it in that situation. Wow. So your lean is towards the Packers at plus three, even though you lost a little value. I, I think the value is lost. Uh, I think if beginning of the season you would have put this game at a pick them, uh, maybe slightly favored the Houston Texans, uh, but – you know, if you get three and a half again, yeah. uh, I doubt you will, then definitely pull the trigger on the Packers. If anything, I would suggest going on the money line here. Right. I mean, the Packers are uh, – uh, you can get three and a half still as, as we are taping this. Great preview once again, Jeff Grant uh, from the Bleacher Report. We will talk to you again next week.